CGCP 1786. White is ahead in material by about one minor piece, but the question remains, what is the best way to proceed here? Notice that the rook on d7 is being attacked by the bishop on b5. So maybe white could play rook to e7 check, king to f4, rook to e4 check, king to f3, bishop to d5, and white maintains his advantage. But is this the best way to continue here? It turns out the answer is no. And here's why. There is a mate in 4. And the key move is rook to f2. Now, if black doesn't realize what is going on, he might play bishop captures d3. And then we have bishop to g7 check, king to e4, and then rook to e7 mate. But if he does realize what's going on, he might play instead knight captures d3. White continues anyway with bishop to g7, king to e4, bishop to g6. This shuffling of the bishop pushes the king down, king to e3, and then bishop to d4, checkmate, and at the same time, x-ray defending the rook on f2. Another way for black to have proceeded from here is rook to f3, just creating a delay. White simply captures the rook, black takes care of this pawn, otherwise bishop to g7 would have been checkmate immediately. Bishop to g7 is played anyway, king to e4. You see this e4 square was guarded by that pawn that the knight captured, but even then, Black still loses to bishop to d5 mate. So it's important in chess, even if you have an advantage, a slight advantage, to look out for combinations like this. Even those that don't have a forcing move, like a check, in its key. Until next time.